Wee Garden. Claudia here. Um, I've been out here working in the yard for a little bit and I thought, you know, today's the first Saturday of February. Maybe we should do a garden tour. So we'll just call it the first Saturday garden tour. Um, we're going to head on into the garden and take a look and see what we got going on. The good, the bad, the ee, scary. And uh, come on in. Well, there's Miss Maisie Cakes waiting to help us out. Are you ready to go in the garden, honey? Are you ready to go in the garden? All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, so we've got these beautiful nasturtions. This is the best I've ever done with nasturtions. These are at both ends of this bed. Um, we had a freeze a couple weeks ago, just a, a light one, but it killed the beans. So I've been pulling the beans out. They're still up on the trellis, dead. Uh, but I am working on getting those out. And then as we go around here to the left, to the left, we've got these massive, beautiful paste tomato plants. Uh, there's five on either side, five plants. And... Um, they have tomatoes on them. They're just starting to set fruit. We did manage to cover these before the frost. So they made it this year. Last year they were full of fruit. We had started a little earlier and they were full of fruit and we lost everything. We had a hard freeze. We had an eight hour freeze. And even though we had covered and put heaters out, it just wasn't quite enough. I've got one eggplant here in the middle and then on the ends here, I've got in pots, I've got, these are uh, Texas Grano, early Texas Grano, sweet, they're sweet onions, the same as you would plant for Vidalias um, if we were in Georgia. These are red Creole, these are also a short day onion, we have to grow short day onions here, um, we just, the long day and the intermediate won't grow here. So here's the other side of that beautiful tomato bed. This is a, I want to say five by 10 foot bed. Um, and it is loaded, 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 loaded. We'll go right on around. We still have covers out and they're not up, but they're ready to go up just in case we get some more cold weather. I think we're past our last frost though, so we should be okay. So I've got uh, walking onions here, and these are all mustard greens. This bed had root knot nematodes in it. Uh, last time I planted it, the tomatoes came out terrible, and I haven't had a chance to cover it up yet. So I put the mustard in that's supposed to help with that, and they are just starting to sprout. Um, I had a short where I planted these the other day, and I believe I did a short where they first came up. So these have been in for probably about, I don't know, a week and a half, maybe two weeks. And they are doing really good. Um, so many. My husband asked, Salty asked, should we, should we uh, thin them? And I said, just let them go. We'll have too many, but that's okay. We'll give them to the chickens. The chickens will love them. And then I have in the back there, that's, mm, I planted sunflowers and zinnias. I think these are the zinnias that came up. And then this is the other end of those nasturtium beds. And these nasturtiums are crazy. We're back to the arch. Maisie's banging on the door, wanting to go back out of here. She's gonna go run around the yard, so we'll just let her out real quick. Oh, Ari, are you coming in? Okay, Ari's gonna come in and say hi. We are now to the, hi baby. We are now to the right side, um, this other narrow bed. I've got a couple of cabbages and then I've got some broccoli two broccoli and then another cabbage and then I got some tromba trombocino tromba tromba something squash going I've seen other people post about it and I was curious about it so I went ahead and got one going it's doing very well I planted two seeds only one came up that's fine it's gonna grow this trellis and I didn't really want a lot of them if it grows the way I think it's going to um, I guess they're good for eating uh, f fresh when they're small, like um, like a zucchini, or you can let them get big. That's the trombocchino. You can let them get big, and uh, they're more like a winter squash, like a, uh, a pumpkin or a, yeah, butternut. <laughs> uh, these are the onions that I planted. 
last week. The ones that I got in the mail, they are doing great. They are starting to come up with new shoots. So I'm really pleased about that. The other end of that is, again, some walking onions and uh, some more of those red Creole onions. And then we get into this big bed. This is another uh, five by 10 foot bed. And this is all early Jersey Wakefield cabbage. I'm very pleased with these. We had good cabbage last year. I think we'll have good cabbage again this year. And then we've got some broccoli plants. Uh, these are just starting to come in. I didn't do any Brussels sprouts this year. I never got sprouts out of them. We just wound up eating all the greens. And um, last year we, I canned a whole bunch of the broccoli greens too. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, we do still have a lot of the ones I canned last year, but uh, yeah, I don't want to waste them. They'll either go to the chickens or we'll can these too. I found this this morning. A little broccoli coming up there. I'm very excited about that. I'm hoping that turns into a nice big head. And then as we come around this bed, uh, this was a little metal uh, Amazon bed. I'll see if I can find it and post a link. Uh, and this end of the garden has uh, cardboard down, trying to keep the weeds down because it's really hard to keep up with them here. Um, so this is a cayenne sweetness, I think it's called, pepper from, um, I got that from tomato growers. I have one, two, three, and four of these plants. I'm not really pleased with the peppers. They're very, they're very seedy. Uh, they have a lot, a lot of seeds in them. Now, that being said, the granddaughter comes over, the seven-year-old. She picks one of these. She likes the uh, riper ones. She picks one of those, and she picks a piece of the green onion, and she sticks that pepper down inside the green onion and walks around the yard and eats it like that. To each of their own, if that's what she likes, that's no problem. This is a sugar rush peach pepper plant. Um... I saw Becky from Maker Homestead grow them, and she seemed to really like them, so I had to get some seeds. There's another one back here. I don't think this one back here gets enough sun, but that's okay. And as we go around, we've got some more broccoli, and Salty discovered that one this morning. So we've got more broccoli. I have some, these are a determinate tomato. I usually grow indeterminates. And I've never grown determinates before. I always felt like it just didn't work in our plan. So I got these. These are a bush beefsteak. And I wasn't going to do beefsteaks this year until I found these. And I thought, well, you know, I'll give it a try. So this one isn't doing as well as the others. I don't think it gets enough sun. I think the others block the sun for this one. But I'm still not disappointed in these at all. I hear you, Maze. You want it out. So we've got all these tomatoes coming up. They're just starting to blush. A couple of uh, elephant garlic that came back from last year. I'm hoping they'll have bulbs this year. But look at these. I mean, they're not as big as, as the beefsteaks we've grown before. But those will be a nice slicing tomato. And they are loaded. There's so many on this. So many. I'm totally not disappointed. And then over here, this last one. Uh, there was a bush beefsteak in here, and I had cutworms, and the cutworms took it and all of the onions I put in there, took everything out of this. So this is a, I'm hoping it's a Rosalita tomato, but I have a feeling it's a, a black cherry. I thought I started Rosalitas and black cherries this year, and I am looking at probably all black cherries. So I have just started some seeds for some new Rosalitas. This, this is a black cherry. It's very sweet and tart. It's hard to explain. But it's a delicious, delicious, delicious tomato. I've got some uh, bee balm here and some mint here. And uh, as you come around, we've got <laughs> the salad grill. I know, it's a very redneck, whatever, don't judge me. Uh, the salad grill, I have Mizuna in here. And then I just threw some uh, perpetual spinach, I believe, it was, is what I threw in here yesterday. So hopefully those will come up. We're supposed to get some rain. Um, if not, you know, they get watered all the time anyway. 
And then the last little bit is my some more onions. This is some more of the red creole. Uh, these are doing very well in this <laughs> old kitchen sink. This was here when we moved in. The sink was here. We just moved it over here and filled it with dirt. And uh, this is the second year I've grown in it and it's doing very well. So I've got all this to clean out so I can get it planted. I've got a ton of seeds started. Um, got another eggplant here. I've got some sunflowers that came up from last year along the edge here. Uh, that's it. That is it for me today. If you like seeing my little slice of garden heaven, um, definitely hit like, uh, hit subscribe, hit the little dinger bell. Um, please leave me a comment. Say hey. Say how you doing. Say how your garden's going. I know it's early for some of you, but for us, this is the best time of year to be growing. Uh, the, the brassicas are coming up. The brassicas are going to be done very soon because it's going to get hot. It's very nice out today. It's nice and breezy. The tomatoes are doing good. This is our perfect time. A uh, couple months we're going to be putting in some okra and uh, going from there. So I'm not sure what the dogs are barking at, but I'm sure there's something going on out front. And um, thanks for joining me.